Today is my pickle jar seven. Oops. <laughs> today my pickle jar turning 17 years old. Quite a bit older than you. And today I'm gonna show you how to make this from scratch. This is the new one I just made. You can see I'm gonna talk about why I don't use vinegar in a pickle jar. Never. That's not real pickles. So this is the jar actually all the way from China in 2005. And this one, this is a glass jar, a totally different. Today, I'm starting a new jar since I just moved here in Orlando. This jar already sanitized. You have to sanitize a jar. To start it, we have an empty jar. I'm gonna show you step by step how I make it from scratch. So first we add some salt, citron pepper corn, some dried chili peppers. Also the water you use in China a long time when a grandma make it was no filter water like this you can just get from the fridge. So we actually have to boil the water, just get it sanitized and then cool it down. You can do that too. Garlic. Garlic. Very simple ingredients. So you can find this recipe in my cookbook. Link is down below in the description. But for now, I'm just measuring with my Chinese, Chinese eyeballs, eyeballs. eyeballs. You don't know. So you can put these uh, fresh peppers in the jar. They also taste good too. So for the pickle brand, you start from scratch. This doesn't have much flavor. Probably gonna take you a week and two weeks, at least a week to get the pickle flavor. But if you are my neighbor, if I just scoop out this little spoon on my 17 year old pickle brand, you just add in here, maybe a couple of spoons. Here I add some ginger, cutting big pieces. Just crush it. So here are chopsticks my grandma usually put on top of the jar uh, on the lid to take the pickles out. So no dirty chopsticks, your pickle brain will go bad. And no oil on here. Any oil, a drop in here, that will die. So this is probably my favorite vegetable to eat as pickles. Those are called wosun in Chinese. English is called saltus. So for this, I usually peel them. I just peel the skin. Then I wash the vegetable. All the vegetable here, you need to wash it clean. Now I put my favorite vegetable here first. Also I have uh, some cherry radish. Those are great for the pickle brand, the great flavor and color. So your pickle brand will turn like a pink and red color. Adding some more water. So another vegetable I like to pick on is the long beans. Just like this, my kids love to just take out the jar, eat as a snack. We wrap in the middle. Like you wrap your, what do you say, the cable and wires, your computer. <laughs> do you know why I don't use vinegar? Never use vinegar in my pickles. My pickles still taste sour because this is a fermentation process. So you just need to let the lactose fermentation to sour your vegetables instead of vinegar. Let the vegetable taste like themselves. Sour self instead of vinegar. Actually, that tastes so much better than just taste the vinegar in your vegetable. If you have a bigger pickle jar, you probably need to add some water, double the recipe. Now I'm adding some more water. Of course, every time I'm adding more water, I add more salt. In Sichuan, we also use the pickles for cooking. A lot of time I use the pickled chili pepper to stir fry with uh, vegetables and meat to add a lot of flavor in your dishes. More authentic. There's the most important ingredient. You're gonna celebrate some vodka for her. Probably not, not, you. not old enough to drink. In China, we use different liquor. It's similar to this called baijiu. The reason I use vodka is because vodka doesn't have a lot of flavor. So it doesn't give any flavor to the vegetable. You want something no flavor. Some liquor like this and no color. This helps the fermentation process also creates the sour flavor. So now when you finish putting all the vegetables in, and we close the jar, the step is to seal the jar. Your pickle brand won't go bad is, here's the water seal. You seal the jar and your pickle brand won't go bad. So the water seal here, you're gonna check maybe every three days, just check if the water dry out. If this water dry out, your pickle brand will die. If I go on vacation, say for five days, for this plastic wrap will be fine. If I just wrap this, this is good for at least five days, sometimes go over 10 days. Sometimes the pickle brand on the top form this white film on top. Don't scare, that's not mold. This is called K-A-H-M. I have to look up a dictionary. I don't even know how to pronounce this. This is the yeast. So if you got this white film on top of your pickle brand, you just simply take a spoon 
you skim the top out, take this out easily, easily. Then I take out some of this 17 year old pickle brine to show you. Cause this jar is a clay jar, you can't really see through. You can see after years it become really intense. The color from the old vegetables or the radish, you can see this color compared to this brand new I just made today. That's different, that's different. So this jar, to get any flavor, probably gonna wait at least a week. At least a week. Try it, maybe two weeks. If I just pickle this wash one, peel pickle here, that will be really like, you say, four hours. But this one, probably gonna have any taste in a week. So this is really quick. And we call this a vegetable take a shower. This is like a take a shower really short time. So I usually put my pickle jar in a place like a corner, somewhere shady and cool. Pickle jar doesn't like anywhere warm. So here I'm gonna put in the corner of my countertop there. Please like and subscribe. I have this pickle garlic for you. See you next time.